Hello children, I am Harminder Kaur Suri from Kendri Vidyalaya Sangathan. Let us start today's topic with a poem that you have learnt in your previous class. This poem is from your English textbook Mridang, class 1. Are you ready to enjoy the poem with me? Yes, now listen it carefully. Mother, mother, will you play with me? Yes, I shall, yes, I shall, we are a family. Father, father, will you eat with me? Yes, I shall, yes, I shall, we are a family. Brother, sister, will you dance with me? Yes, I shall, yes, I shall, we are a family. Grandmother, grandmother, will you sing with me? Yes, I shall, yes, I shall, we are a family. Grandfather, grandfather, will you read with me? Yes, I shall, yes, I shall, we are a family. Hope you have loved this poem. Now you have to tell me, what is the theme of this poem? Yes, very good. The poem is based on family. Can you name the members of the family in this poem? Yes, there is mother, father, brother, sister, grandmother and grandfather. After this session, we will be able to know about family members and their relationship to differentiate work done by each member of a family, to understand the values we get from family members, to know about the celebrations we do in a family, to understand the gender equality. Today, we will learn many interesting things about a family. Dear children, now give me answer to very easy question. With whom you live in your house? Yes, we all live in our house with our family members. Our family members include our grandparents, parents, uncle, aunt, siblings and cousins. We all know that we are born from our parents. In the similar way, our parents are born from our grandparents. So, a hierarchical structure is formed where grandparents are on the top followed by parents and then by the children. In this way, a family tree is formed. You have studied about various types of families in this previous session in which we have seen nuclear family, joint family, small family and single parent family. I hope now you can make family tree of your own family. As I said earlier, we have studied about types of family in session 1. Dear children, can you tell me about a joint family? Yes, very correct. A family which includes grandparents, parents, uncles, aunts, cousins and children is a joint family. We can say that a joint family is an extension of nuclear family. That's why it is also known as extended family. When we live in a family, all the members have to do some work. A family offers an environment of love, warmth and understanding, which is important for development of all the members. Now we will take a look at different types of work done by each family member. Kids, do you love your dadaji, dadiji? Yes, we all love our grandparents. Our grandparents are the pillars of our family. They are our mentors. Do you love to listen stories from your grandmother? Yes, we all enjoy the moment when our granny tell us a story from their past or some Panchatantra story. Our grandparents teach us moral values. Grandparents are very helpful in providing the needed care to the grandchildren. Moreover, they inculcate cultural and traditional values in all the family members. So, a family with grandparents is rich in terms of values, customs, cultures and traditions. Dear children, who bring chocolate and toffees for you in your family? Yes, of course, 
he is a father. A father plays an important role in a family. Fathers have assumed three primary roles, the protector, the provider, the disciplinarian. As we see, father as the breadwinner for a family, he works outside to earn money in order to fulfill the needs of family member. A father protects the family in difficult situation. Father is also the role model of children. In some families, father also plays the role of caregiver. He is the strength of a family. Dear kids, who cooks food at your home? Yes, mostly our mother used to cook food in a house. Role of a mother is vast in a family. A mother is a homemaker. She maintains the entire house. Moreover, we can say that she is a home manager. A mother gives birth and nourishes the children. She does all the household work like cooking, washing utensils, washing clothes, take care of grandparent and children. In some families, mother plays the role of provider also. She works outside the home for earning bread for the family. Having a mother is a gift for a family. Kids, whom do you ever fight in the family? Yes, they are our brothers and sisters. We call them siblings. Siblings are a brother or a sister born from same parent. Siblings grow in same environment, share same parent and share common memories and similar experiences. In a family, siblings are source of support, love and companionship. There are certain things that we don't want to share with our parents, but we often share with our brother or sister. Having a brother or sister is a great blessing. Children, try to answer a very simple question. What do you call wife of your father? Very correct, it's a mother. Do you want to answer one more? Yeah, these questions are a bit funny. <laughs> okay. What do you call brother of your father? Yes, we call him Chacha ji, Chachu, Chittappan, etc. depending on a mother tongue. So, here we are talking about relationships. In a family, we find many relationships, father, mother, brother, sister, uncle, aunt, nephew, niece. All the members of a family are related to each other in one or other way. Sometimes, in a family, we might have seen two siblings that looks very similar to each other. It's very difficult for us to differentiate who's who. In your classroom also, you can find such siblings. They are known as twins. Twins are of two types. Some are identical twins and some are non-identical twins. Identical twins are born from same parent at same time and looks alike. They have very similar features such as color of hair, eyes, lips, etc. looks exactly the same. Now what are non-identical twins? Non-identical twins are also born from same parents at same time but they do not look alike. They carry some features that are different from each other. Next time when you face twins, do try to compare their looks and identify them as identical or non-identical twins. You can also ask some questions related to their birth timings or how they manage to confuse their relatives and friends by their looks. A family is built over some values known as family values. Here we have some values that each and every family holds. Value of relationships, love and care for all family members, moral standards and discipline, duties towards the family members, maintaining cultural and traditional beliefs, loyalty, quality time, gender equality. When we live in a family, we value all the relationships and give respect to each other. Every family holds a bond of love, care and affection. Care is shown for elders and love for children. Each and every member of family obeys his or her duties 
so that a family can run in a proper and manageable way. All the members of a family are bound to each other through customs, cultures, traditional values. Kids, do you often do a get together with the family members, relatives and friends? Yes, we often do such things. There will always be certain activities in a family when all the members join together. As we know, in nuclear family, only parent and children live together. Some extended families turn to nuclear families due to separation. Reason for such separation can be change of workplace. There are certain occasions like birthday celebration of children, wedding and festival celebrations when all the members of a family join together. We have seen that during a wedding at a house, all the distant family members, relatives join for a grand celebration. Similarly, when a festival is celebrated at house, all the family members come together and celebrate. Celebrations without Dada Dadi, Cha 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 Chi, Tau Ji Taya Ji, Bua Ji, Fufa Ji and cousins are totally incomplete. We feel very much united and connected in a family. Moreover, there are certain occasions that we enjoy with our family members. We enjoy watching television with our siblings and cousins. A picnic is also enjoyed with the entire family. We often visit a fair with our parents, grandparents and cousins. We love to play different games with our cousins. Basically, we enjoy more when we celebrate with our family members. Now it's time to recall what we have studied till now. So here we have simple riddles to solve. The first one goes like, I am the father of your father. I am, can you guess the answer? Yes, the answer is grandfather. Father of your father is your grandfather. Now we have one more riddle. Let's have a look. Your mother is my mom. Your father is my dad. Who am I? The answer is sister or brother. You can also make such riddles related to relationship in your family. Children, in your home, you have seen that most often the food is cooked by grandmother or mother. Other household works are also done by females in our houses. Work related to outside are generally done by male members in a family, like working, getting vegetable from market, driving vehicles, etc. Can we say that in a family, work is distributed based on gender? Here, gender refers to male and female. Certain particular works are done by females in a family and certain by males. But it's not the scenario of each and every family. Now, time have changed a lot and we are moving towards gender equality. So dear kids, what is gender equality? Gender equality is a state where men and women are treated equal, enjoy same opportunities at home, educational institutions, school and college, or any workplace. Through gender equality, we can say that a woman or a mother, sister, aunt can work outside as a breadwinner for the family. In the similar way, a man, a father, uncle, or brother can cook food and do other household work. Nowadays, we can see gender equality in most of the families whether it's nuclear or extended family. Equal education facilities are given to boys and girls, decision-making power to both parents, equal distribution of household work among the members of the family. For the upliftment of women in family and society, our government has also started schemes like Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana, in which a minimum amount get deposited in bank account of a girl child for the upliftment of women in a family and society 
our government has also started schemes like Sukanya Samridhi Yojana, in which a minimum amount get deposited in the bank account of girl child of employees, which can be used for betterment of a future. Another scheme is Beti Vachao Beti Padhao. It aims to generate awareness and improve the efficiency of welfare services intended for girls. This government campaign is for saving the girl child and educating them for a better future. In your previous session, you have learnt about family without children or childless family. In such a family, no children are born to the parent. In such a case, parents do adoption. Some families include a single parent and child. Here also sometimes the child is adopted. So, what is adoption? Adoption is a legal process of becoming parent of a child. Here, the child and the parents are not related by blood. Willing parents can adopt child from adoption homes. Till now, we have discussed a lot about family and its members. Kids, now it's time to know about importance of family in our life. Life is difficult without a family. Family offers unconditional love and care. Family gives us strength and support to face difficulties in life. Family models good values. These values we get from our elders. Family help us teaching about customs, cultures and traditional values of society. Family is the first school, a primary source of learning. Joint family teaches us unity is our strength. Children, now it's time to recall what we have learnt in this session. We have learnt about a family tree, which is hierarchical design of a family, types of families, nuclear family and joint family, work done by each family member, relationships that we maintain in a family with family members, identical and non-identical twins in a family, different celebrations like birthday party, wedding, festival celebrations are done along with family members. We also do fun activities like picnic, fun games, watching television with family members. Gender-wise work distribution, gender equality, adoption, importance of family in our life. Dear kids, now it's your turn to show some creativity and express your feelings about your family. You can make a list of work that you do in your family to help other family members. Make a photo frame by using waste material and stick photo of your family. Mother is called Ma, I, Amma, Mummy, Ammi, etc. in different languages. In the similar way, you can write what you call your grandmother, father, brother, sister in your mother tongue. I hope you all have enjoyed this session. Thank you.